Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And today is a much weighted um, thing that I have going on today. Um, I am going to the cardiologist today to go ahead and get, I was supposed to get a stress test today. And then right after the stress test, I was supposed to then um, go ahead and get a Holter, I think that's what it's called, monitor for seven days. And if I sound like I'm out of breath, it's because I'm moving really, really fast. It's time to get out of the house and go. Um, but um, I have to go and I have to wear that for a week. And then they had to reschedule the stress test, so then that will be next week. Um, so I have all these cardio workup things going on just because I've been having random fainty spells. I haven't been feeling well. I've been randomly feeling weak. If I if I go outside and I mow or do anything, I immediately feel like I could just faint and I'm not feeling well. Um, I'm having really bad heart palpitations in the middle of the night. It wakes me up and my heart just goes do 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 for no reason. Like I I don't even have anxiety and my heart's just going crazy. So also been having some blood pressure problems, things like that. So we're going to get it checked out. We're going today. Uh, today is just so that we know what date it is for further reference. Uh, today is July 6th. Yeah, July 6th. So uh, we're going to go get that done. And I've never had one of these hooked up before besides at like a hospital, of course. So I don't know how this is going to go. Um, I heard you're allowed to shower with it and all that stuff. But I don't know. Like I said, I never, this is a first time experience for me. Um, I went and I got my new glasses yesterday and I was really excited about wearing them and then realized, you know what? I left them in the car. So today we're just going to be rocking the, the old glasses we've had all this time. Um, I didn't get new frames or anything, but I did get new prescription and new lens. So it's going to take time for me to adjust to the new, uh, glasses cause I can tell that they are stronger. Like I can definitely tell. So um, I also got some sunglasses for the first time ever that are prescription, so I'm really excited about that. So um, we gotta hurry up and get in the car and get going. Alrighty, so I just left the doctors and got all hooked up. Danielle's back there. Got all hooked up to the little monitor thingy. So here's to day one of seven days. And then we came to Target because we have a pickup to, to grab and then we'll be going back home and making a couple of frozen pizzas. Huh, Danielle? Hey guys, welcome to day two of wearing this Holter monitor thingy. So, I don't know what's going on with the, the round things they, that have the adhesive that it hooks up to, but it itches like crazy. And last night when I took them off, um, all the way around the outside of it for some reason or other it has like these like like raised like rash going on so whatever adhesive they use on these ones my skin doesn't really care for <laughs> um, I never had that problem before um, usually I always just take them off if, if anything it just has like um, the glue or whatever and then I use a little bit of alcohol and it goes away but this time it's not the glue that's staying behind. It's like legit, like, I don't know, some sort of a rash going on. I don't know. But so in the next few videos that I'm going to be filming that you probably won't see this until after you've seen those. So I don't know how the order is going to go, but you're going to see me a lot like with wearing, um, like sports bra or no bra, so don't laugh at me. Don't pick on me too much, okay? Like, these things are going to be all over the place. <laughs> if you have big breasts, you understand, or if you have an issue with them sagging, you know where I'm coming from, so. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Stephanie, and today we are going to do a little bit of a just... Get ready with me in my messy bathroom. Um, so today I've decided that I am going to do a filming day today. And um, to do so, um, I wanted to um, 
come on here and I wanted to talk about a few things because I just wanted a couple of things to be talked about. So this video is going to be centered around why I'm having um, a um, Holter monitor thingy on for your heart. Um, so I was going back and forth with today. I'm going to go ahead and just straighten my hair, by the way. I just, I'm, I'm in the mood to do it. I'm never in the mood to do it anymore. <laughs> so today, since I'm in the mood, I was like, well, this would be a perfect video to go ahead and do. So this is what my hair looks like before I do anything to it. Um, I don't like to brush my hair. I'm not going to lie. So when I get out of the shower, I usually just brush it when it's wet and then I leave it and then it does all of that. And it's all messed up, of course, because of the bed. But if I brush it out, you guys will see what it looks like when I brush it out. That scared me. Whew. Apparently, <laughs> my counter literally had like a drop of water on it. And it started going... Whew, that scared me. Okay. Um, but anyways, so I don't like to brush it because when I do, it just goes poof. But um, so... I've been going back and forth on whether or not I want to share about the whole halter monitor. Well, it's on me for seven days and not sharing it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I mean, I know that sometimes keeping your medical things to yourself is important, but sometimes, sorry guys, like I'm just really tired today. Um, sometimes sharing the important things in life, I think is important sometimes. Um, if you feel like something's wrong with you or you're having new symptoms that you never used to have before and they could possibly be cardiac related or brain related or whatever, then go get them checked out. Like don't just ignore things, just go get it checked out. Give yourself a peace of mind. Um, if it's just anxiety, then well, guess what? Then you know it's just anxiety because you literally have made sure that it's not anything else. So if you can, you can go get things checked out. And it is important to get things checked out. Well, I've been having an issue with feeling faint um, and feeling like I'll be like just standing there and I won't have like, I won't have like any symptoms of like, I not symptoms, but like, so if you live with anxiety, like I do, then you know when you're having anxiety. Like, you can feel it. You you definitely know when you're having a day. Trust me, you know. And if you have anxiety, you know exactly what I'm talking about, 100%. You can wake up and immediately know, mm, today's going to be one of those days. I'm going to be anxious all day. I can already tell. Then there's other days where you're doing just fine, and then it creeps in, and you're like, mm, yep, she's here. But, you know, if you learn how to manage it, it does, it does help, you know, and some days, some days it's harder to manage than other days. But anyways, um, I will be, for instance, just standing there doing the dishes and all of a sudden I will get very faint and lightheaded and feel like I'm going to literally just pass out on the floor. Um, and like, it seems like every time that it happens to me, I always go off to my right side. So it's like, I just feel like I could just fall over to my right side. And I don't know why that is happening to me. It's been going on, on and off in my life, um, since starting in, I think it was 2021, um, is when it started. And it's worse at different times of the month. So they try to tell, they, they have diagnosed me with PMDD. And if you don't know what that is, you can go look it up. It's, I think it's called premenstrual dysphoric disorder. And I have believed for a, a while that that is my problem. So what it is, is it's just like PMS kind of, but amplified. I, I don't know how to explain it. Like you guys can go look it up for yourself if you want to. And if you don't have that, then, um, I'm so happy that you don't have that. Um, but if you have symptoms like that, if you go look it up and you notice that these symptoms pop up mainly around the 
12 day mark of when you're going to be starting your period. Um, if you start having symptoms around that time and some months it's worse than others. And I will explain more about that. If, if you want a video on that, someone drop a comment down below and I will make a video about it. And I'll tell you guys what my symptoms are. I will tell you what happens to me and I'll go into detail if you want me to. So, um, message me or comment or whatever and just let me know and I'll go into detail with you um because I'm not ashamed of what they say that I have or because the symptoms are definitely real um and I never even knew about this disorder and so uh my doctor brought it to my attention and told me that she believes that I suffer from that because it sounds like literally I have like everything to a T and even the weird odd symptoms of it so um go look that up if you're curious on what that is and if it will help you for me to make a video about it i will because i believe sometimes um video awareness does really does really does help people um when they don't know what is wrong with them like i i, I had no clue about that until my doctor said so well anyways um so i have been dealing with a lot of things and like I said random like wanting to pass out like um if I like for instance one day we had all of the kiddos over and we were literally playing um the, the just dance game and I love love playing that game like look I may be a bigger girl and I may be out of shape right now but the main reason why I'm out of shape right now is because I have been reframing from doing too much cardio because of being scared. That's the thing is that I last time that I played um, right after one song, I started having heart palpitations and my heart was going do, 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 do. And it kept on doing it. And it scared the living crap out of me. And after a few minutes, of course, my heart rate went back to normal. So, like, I didn't go get it checked out or anything like that. But it was also a cause for concern for me. And it stayed in the back of my mind, right? So then um, I was like, well, maybe there's nothing wrong with me. I don't know, you know. But this did happen to me um, a time prior to that. When I was riding the bike around the neighborhood, I came back. And I legit felt like I was going to pass out. Like I had to sit down and I had to concentrate on my breathing and my heart was doing that again. And it was, it was, it lasted longer that time. And so I don't know, I'm not a cardiologist. I don't know nothing about that. And I sure ain't going to Google it because if I Google it, it's going to tell me I'm having a heart attack or something because we all know how Google is. So I didn't Google anything. Well, long story short, I had an episode, uh, one of these episodes at my mom's doctor's office. When I took her to the doctor, I almost fainted right there in front of her doctor. And it was really scary experience. It, I, it, was, it wasn't good. And her doctor was severely concerned about me. Um, she checked my blood sugar. She checked my blood. My blood pressure, of course, was high because I was having you know, an anxiety or panic episode. That's what I was thinking that it was. But she was like, from watching you, that was not, no. Mm -mm. I'm, uh, she's like, I do not think that you just have anxiety disorder. I do not think that you just have panic disorder, whatever it is that they're saying. She's like, you have something really going on with you. And um, what is your doctor's number? I'm calling your doctor. And I'm like, oh, okay. So she calls my doctor, told my doctor what was going on. And so... I went to my doctor and they did an EC, whatever, an AKG, I don't know what it is, where they put the thing on to just test to make sure you're not having a heart attack or whatever, right? So that came back normal, thank God. So there was nothing wrong there. Well, then um, my doctor had said, you really need to go, she, she told me, you have, you definitely have anxiety disorder. So go take some Zoloft pretty much and, you know, go see a cardiologist because you really need to see a cardiologist. I'm also seeing a GI doctor because I have GI issues that we're not talking about today. But then um, she was like, um, I think 
that you could potentially have something going on maybe with your heart. So just to be on the safe side, I, I want you to get like the seven day halter monitor. I want you to do a stress test. She's like, I want a full workup on you and I want to see all the results and you know, things like that. So I was like, okay. So then before I had my cardio appointment, I had a day where I had another episode like that. And my doctor originally did tell me that if I ha continued having episodes like that, that I did need to go to the hospital. But I don't always go to the hospital whenever I'm having days like that because, I mean, come on, be for real. So I, I just, just can't. So I had a day where my blood pressure shot up like to 181 over 111 and I was freaking the fuck out. Sorry, excuse my language. I was freaking out and um, I was like, well, okay. And I was trying to calm myself down. I had a pounding headache. My head was killing me. My head was going numb on this side. Like I was not feeling well. Like I felt faint, all these things, right? And a lot of it could have been, I think, anxiety because of the blood pressure being so elevated because you know you can have like brain bleeds, you can have a heart attack, you can have stroke, you know, anything cardiac, you know, when you already have anxiety, just amp that up because it's just gonna make it worse, right? Well, um, so I went to the hospital and they ran tests, right? And said, and said that everything was normal, everything was fine. And I was like, okay. Well, when I got home, because they didn't print out my test results for me, because they never do anymore, um, I had to go online and get my test results. Well, on the one where they did the ECG or whatever it is, EKG, I don't know, they, um, it said on there, minimal depression something, SD depression or something, I don't know. So that had me freaking out, you know, because I'm like, oh no, you know, like... <laughs> Something is definitely wrong with me. They're not telling me. <laughs> so <clears throat> that I did look up online because I was just curious, like, what, what does that mean anyway? You know, well, um, it, it had said that it could mean like an under underlying, um, like heart condition or something, something like that. You know, um, I'm not reading into it, you know, like I'm not trying to. Like get myself worried or worked up or anything like that, right? So I go see the cardiologist. The cardiologist says, well, I don't know. She kind of was a little, I don't, I don't want to judge her because we all are going through a lot of things right now. I believe everyone is. Um, so I want to chop it up to she was having a bad day. Um, I was the last patient of the day. And she just seemed in a very off mood. Like, um, this is the first time I ever saw her. So this was my first encounter with her. So I try not to judge a doctor <laughs> on the first time I meet them. Because if they're having a really stressful day, I used to be a CNA and I used to work in the medical field around doctors and around a lot of nurses. And they have the worst dang days. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I, I can say for a fact that I feel really, really, really in tune with doctors and nurses and, and all that stuff because I literally have worked around them. So um, I'm just saying that I, I feel for them, for sure. So I didn't want to judge her on our first experience of meeting each other. And I was the last patient of the day. She just seemed irritated, like she didn't want to be there. She just seemed like, why are you here? You know, kind of thing. And I didn't, I don't know, something something didn't, didn't really click right with me. Because one minute she was, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain it without making it sound bad. So I'm not even going to worry about explaining how her tone was or how her demeanor was or whatever. But... Um, it just was off, you know, and uh, she was like, well, your blood pressure is normal today. And I told her, I was like, well, honestly, I have a hard time believing that. I said, because you guys are telling me that it's only 118 over, you know, 70, whatever. 
but my blood pressure has not once been that low um, at all um, in the past like couple of weeks. It's been literally staying like 140 over 90 something or 130, like the lowest it was, was like 130 over like 87 or something like that. You know, I was like, so I just have a hard time believing that, but that's fine, you know? So that's what the lady prior to her had said. Well, then when she came in and I had told her that she checked my blood pressure and she's like, yeah, your blood pressure is only 120 over like 84 or something like that, she said. And I was like, wow, okay, cool. And me, I knew that I was having anxiety right then. I, I was having anxiety before I even met the woman. And I know that when my <clears throat> when I have anxiety going on, my blood pressure is higher. So I found that kind of hard to believe. And so I didn't, I didn't really buy that. I don't know. I just felt they were doing it manually. Um, I know how to take a blood pressure. So if I was looking at it, I could tell you exactly what it was, but I was, I couldn't see it because of the way that it was positioned or whatever. But I don't know. I just felt like it wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? Like things just didn't add up. Well, she wasn't even asking me like what kind of symptoms I was having or what I was there for. She just like looked over the paper and was like, okay, we'll do a halter monitor for seven days and we'll do a stress test. And then you'll come in for an electrocardiogram where they do the ultrasound of the heart. Like the way that I'm saying it is literally how she acted about it, it was like, yeah, we'll do this. We'll do that. Uh, like, like as if she truly like didn't care. <laughs> like, why are you here? So, um, I pretty much kind of like left it at that. Like, and I didn't want to even talk to her at that point because I was just like, well, she's, she made me feel as if she, I didn't, she didn't want to hear anything that I had to say anyway. So, like I said, I'm going to I'm going to go back. Of course, I'm doing all these tests. I was supposed to do the stress test on July 6th. After the stress test, they were supposed to hook me up to the monitor. Literally 2 days before my appointment, the lady says, "Well, they misscheduled you, so now you have to go back again next week and do the stress test and but we'll still put the Holter monitor on you." So, on the 6th, they did put the Holter monitor on and then next week on the 13th, is when I go to get this taken off and then I do the stress test. And then after that, the, the week after that, I will get the results for everything and they will also do uh, the ultrasound of the heart. So I pray that it has nothing to do with my heart. Um, if you've never worn a Holter monitor bef before, they do have an event button. I didn't even know that was a thing because they didn't properly tell me that. Because I guess they just assume everyone's going to read the instructions there's a lot of people who don't read that because they either don't read or can't read or whatever so I think that that's important to tell somebody but oh well um but yes there's an event button on there and you're supposed to hit, hit it and hold it down for four to five seconds and then you're supposed to say what your symptoms are at that point like anytime that you get like lightheaded or dizzy or shortness of breath or chest tightening whatever so so far I think I'm on day three or four. I don't even know how much time is even left on it. Let me see. No, I did not mean to click that. I accidentally, I accidentally hit the event button and it already <laughs> did it. So it says event button pressed. If in distress, please call number one. Your event has been recorded. So you're supposed to click the next button and you're supposed to say what your symptoms were. Um, but I didn't know about this button and it literally like pushed against the counter because I had it facing this way in my pocket. And when it did, I kind of freaked out because I didn't know what that was. And I was like, wait, call number one, what? <laughs> like I, I legit started freaking out. And then I called myself and I looked at it. I was like, oh, okay, we're good. Um, remaining time, four days, one hour and 28 minutes. So we're almost there. I'm, I'm, wait, I'm so ready for it to be over with. But um, what was I saying about it? I'm sorry, I lost train of thought. But anyways, um, so I have not been able to really wear a bra with it. So in the rest of this, in the rest of my videos, if you notice that I'm not wearing a bra or you, you see a random cord coming from me or 
you know, things like that. I, I didn't, I'm not going to stop videoing while this is going on. Um, I started YouTube back up and I started off strong and I'm very proud of myself. I'm going to keep pushing forward, even though I'm, I have this little monitor going on. I was thinking about keeping it to myself and not sharing it with anyone. And, but I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to allow this to be another excuse to not make videos. Um, I'm very proud of myself. I'm I'm so happy that I'm back into doing it and I'm editing better. I'm trying to. <laughs> Anyways, that's still iffy. Um, but I'm not even going to really edit this video. You all are just going to literally get the rawness of it. You're going to see that I'm, I'm going to put it all into one video. So... Um, I'm going to show everything, the vlog of going to go get it done. Of course, I didn't vlog in there because there were so many people. They were packed. Apparently, they only had one doctor. The other doctor completely had to, had an emergency and couldn't come in. Um, and then the other one was on vacation. So they had no choice but to just have so many patients all at once. I mean, I would have canceled some appointments for people, but I don't know about that office. But, uh, but all I know is that it's hard to wear... It is hard to wear a bra um, when wearing this because the first day um, when I got home, I didn't know that I shouldn't wear a underwire bra. They didn't tell me. And where they placed the lead, uh, let's just say I wore my bra all day long and then took it off before bed and realized that the bottom lead that is down here literally was unconnected. And I don't know how long it was unconnected, so it's possible that the whole, whole first day was kind of a dud because I don't know how long it was, you know, unhooked. So, um, after I film this, I'm going to be working on filming another video. So you'll probably notice that I will be wearing a different shirt, possibly a tank top because wearing one of these is actually more uncomfortable than anything. And wearing a bra is very uncomfortable. Like it's pressing on the lead right now, just talking to you guys. So, um, I just wanted to make this video so that you guys knew and please don't pick on me. Okay. For not wearing a bra. All right. Um, yes, they're, 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 it's not going to be very pleasant to look at, but this is life and you have to do things in life that you just don't want to do. Um, and I'm ready to get this thing off, but, um, yeah, I was scared at first because the first day there was like rings, there was a ring around it. It was really red and it was bumpy. And I was like, oh no, please don't tell me I'm allergic to the adhesive because I never had the problem before. And now I have to wear this for seven days. I was freaking out. No, it, it's okay. It went down after like the first day. And then every time that I've taken it off since then, there hasn't been a problem. So that's good. Um, but yes, we have four more days of it, and then we go in for our stress test, which I'm definitely not looking forward to. Um, and we're going to go on the journey of trying to find out if anything is going on or not. I will keep you guys in the loop if it all comes back great, then heck yeah, I, because I don't want any heart problems. I would rather there not be anything wrong than there's something be wrong. And I went through these seven days just to ease my mind, I guess. Um, I guess I would just like to know that when I'm working out or when I'm doing all of those things that I'm not at risk of having a heart attack so that I can start working out more, playing the dance game more and start riding my bike again and maybe buy some rollerblades and start going around because I, I haven't rode on rollerblades in a long, long time. And I don't know why, but I really want to. So um, I just wanted to let you all know that everything is fine and that I made my decision that I'm going to go ahead and just make it public that that's what's going on. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put up this video after my second cleaning video, because after this, there might be a video or two that you guys will see the lead or you'll see me without the brawl or whatever. And you know why? <laughs> um, and if someone attacks me in the comments, y'all go back and let them know. Go watch the other video and she'll explain why instead of making fun of her. <laughs> um, so I haven't got any mean comments yet, but I know that it can happen. And I've seen how mean people can be on the internet. So um, I'm kind of just waiting for that day to come. You know what I mean? And I'm like, in the back of my mind, I'm like, okay. 
Someone's going to do that as soon as they see me without a bra on here. Oh, girl, you ain't taking care of yourself. Or you would come on here like that. Or <laughs> I've seen some comments and I'm just like, but you're, you're judging them and you don't even know the reason why. Or or even if there is a reason, so what if they want to be in their night clothes without a bra? Shoot, let them hang. <laughs> I don't know. But some people just get offended by little things that wouldn't normally offend other people you know what I mean or or that it's not a real legit in my opinion reason to make someone feel horrible about themselves or their decisions or whatever so alrighty I'm gonna go and start working I'm gonna take this brawl off because it's bothering me um and I'm gonna start doing another video I don't know if I'm gonna be doing the video of cleaning my room today because my room is a disaster or if I'm gonna go out there and start with the meal prep that I need to do for the guys. So something's coming up. I just don't know what, whatever I feel, I guess. But thank you guys for watching. And uh, sorry if any of it was confusing or if I was all over the place, but this is raw, this is real, this is me, and welcome to my life. <laughs> Bye.